what's up y'all it's your girl nick today i want to show you how i curl my hair and like honestly i don't ever curl my that's not true i do curl my hair but the way that i curl my hair with a curling iron always looks like i just have a blowout because i use like um either a large curling iron barrel like a one and a half inch or when i always brush it after which i feel like makes the curl come out because my hair doesn't really hold curls from a curling iron very well and so then it just looks like I have a nice blowout so when people ask me how I curl my hair what they're usually referring to is my large crimp in a way um I'm really bad at curling my hair it's no secret I talk about it all the time but part of the problem is that my hair doesn't hold a curl very well it's like really fine and it's not necessarily like thin but it's very fine and so it just doesn't hold the curl no matter what I do and I also probably do it to myself because I don't like to have like crunchy hair or like not soft hair and hair that's like not smooth and sleek looking so I brush it even after I curl it and that'll pull the curl out as well when people ask about my curly hair and they say they like my curly hair what they're really referring to are these like large thick crimpers or what they're technically called is a three barrel curling iron. And they don't look like your typical curling iron. They're actually quite different. They remind me more of a straightener um, and they work more that way as well. So I have two and like, I didn't realize that I had two until I moved into this apartment. And I was like, why do I have two of these? But I'm gonna show you what both look like. Um, I'm gonna use the three barrel curler that I always use to do my whole head, but I'll do a couple strands with the other one just so you can see the difference if there even is one. I've never done them at the same time, so I couldn't even tell you. But I have this Revlon three barrel curler. It has a low and high, which I do like because I have, like I said, fine hair and I feel like I don't want to damage it with heat. And so if I can do like a lower setting, I do try to do that, especially with this product because you can get pretty volumized with this kind of curl and it will give me like an afro and I literally love afros, but it just doesn't work on my head. So this one has Revlon, I got it at CVS. It ended up being like ten dollars or less because i had coupons and it was on sale but i got it 10 years ago at least so i don't know if it still exists i know that the other one i have you can find on amazon and i'll link it so you guys can buy it i'm not going to get paid for it or anything like that so just go buy it if you find it and you like the way it looks on my head um but it's called a three barrel curler as you can see because it has three barrels here one two three and this one you press the plunger down to open it but then when it closes and your finger's not on the plunger, it stays closed. So think about that when you're doing, you know, when you would put it on your head, it's um, once the hair's inside and you release the plunger, it's in there. So I kind of like my other version better and I'll explain why when I show you that one. But when you open it, you can see how there's this wave created here and that will be the shape of the strands of your hair. It also has the little stand so that um, if you put it down on your countertop, it won't burn anything. And then I have this one. This is the one that I more so use. This is my bed head wave artist is what they call it. And I know for sure you can get this one on Amazon, so I'll link it. This one, the big difference besides the shape here, which I'll get to in a second, is that when this one is just being held, it's open and you actually have to close it which was different than this one right when you press down it opens but when you're holding it it's closed so that's a difference i don't know if people have a preference on that either way but i noticed that with this one i pull less hair out because it automatically opens instead of staying closed um this has an on off switch and then it has a high to low dial here where you can change the temperature and then this one, I don't know if it matters, maybe for like storage or for traveling purposes, it also locks. Whoops, that's the wrong button. It also locks right here, so it's closed. Now, this one does have a different shape a little bit here. 
you can see that this is going to put tighter waves in your hair than this one because this one is bigger. But this one is also rounder and so they're pretty uniform waves whereas this one you have to be careful where you put it because they are not uniform barrels here. You can see this one is kind of squarish and these ones are rounder. So this is the one that I prefer. I'm going to show you what both look like. I'm going to do a couple strands with this one but I'm probably going to do my whole head with this one because this is like the one that I'm used to. and I'll show you the difference, but I'm gonna fast forward probably through most of it because you guys don't need to see it. It does take a little bit of time because you have to do like each strand individually and then each one gets different clamps, right? Whereas if you're just straightening, it's like one clamp and straighten, or if you're curling, it's one curl on the barrel and then you're done. So it does take a little bit of time. So you wanna brush it first and I brush it before I even start my hair, but then I'll also brush it if, it's, if it starts to get knotty. Um, as I'm going, I'll still brush it before I put any heat on it because you're not gonna brush your hair after you do this. Otherwise, you're gonna get huge frizzy hair. At least I do. And I have to fix my center part here because it's been driving me nuts this whole time. So I'm gonna start with this Revlon one and show you what it's like. I don't even remember what this one is like. The only thing though, if you're gonna take like thicker sections is you wanna make sure that it doesn't start to hurt because if you take too thick of a section, when you clamp it down, it's just gonna, it's gonna look kinda weird. I go all the way up to my head. I don't know that a lot of people do that, but like, like I said, I love how it gives me volume because I really have no volume here in my part. So you leave it for a little bit, and then this is what you're gonna get. I don't know what it is about the, these products, but oh, like the, the waivers, but it also makes my hair so shiny. So you can see already like how much volume I have, and I didn't hold it very long. And this one is giving me like Flapper Girl vibes, I feel like, because it is so round. Now, once it's done, I'm gonna shake everything out and kind of combine the waves, and it won't be as volumized right here. But I think if you didn't want the volume up at the top of your head, then you could start a little bit lower on your strand. The most important thing when you're using one of these is because it is creating such a defined wave, you need to make sure that you're going back in in the right spot. So if I started it down here, there would be like a whole section here that isn't wavy. I'm gonna line up the barrel that's closest to the um, previous wave and I'm going to line it up so that when I clamp down it gives me the same wave. So like I said this one takes a little bit of time to do because you do have to go one strand, clamp, hold it, clamp, hold it, clamp, hold it. And I would say just make sure that you're holding it for the same amount of time on each one because you don't want some waves to be more defined than others. And then definitely always make sure you go to the bottom because you don't want... Even if you come to the bottom and it's like way too wavy or something for you, you can pull it out with the three barrel curler and straighten it um, if you don't like how curly it is at the bottom because that'll add some volume at the bottom as well if they're really curly but i need all the volume i can get so here is the revlon one and this is the type of wave that you get that is what you're going to get with the revlon three barrel curler so i'm going to do the bedhead wave artist on this side and like i said this one is definitely my favorite definitely the one i've used more in the past couple years but they're really similar. They do give a different look and I can totally tell now that I'm seeing this. This isn't as defined. And of course, if I would have held it in longer, it would have been much more defined. But this one very quickly gives a lot of definition. Okay. If you have to go back over again, just make sure that you are lining it up where it needs to go so you don't have weird crimps okay. 
So as you can tell, they are quite different. I feel like this one definitely gives off more of the crimp vibes because they're like straighter. And this one gives off more of like a loose curl vibe. And that makes sense because this one on this side has a very has very round barrels. Whereas this one has the very like rectangular barrel in the center, which is really what's making the biggest crimp there. I'm gonna take that one out. So these are the differences that you will get with the two. Again, very similar, but I think this one's softer and I think this one's a little harder. Not harder, like more difficult, but harder in the lines. So I'm going to continue using this bedhead one because it's what I'm used to and it definitely gives me a more defined wave here and that's what I am going for because I don't want to have to wash my hair for a couple more days. So. All right, I'm going to fast forward through all of this and just get my hair done and then I will show you guys what it looks like at the end. After I do, a, if I'm on the same strand, after I do one wave, I will kind of push up. So I'll clamp down and then push the hairs kind of up. And that's just because these are still hot up here on the same strand. And if you pull down on it, it's going to pull that wave out at the top. And so at least if you don't push up, at least don't like be pulling really hard down on this because you're just gonna pull the wave out since that's still hot and setting up there. So you can tell here that I didn't hold this flat as far as like how this piece of hair will lie because I was kind of holding it forward. So you can see that it's at an angle and that's what will happen if you hold it not flat and like parallel with your head. So I usually will try to fix a piece like that because I don't want to have like opposite angles on the back of my head. So I probably should hold it back like this. when I'm holding my chest. <sighs> this like, I love this hairstyle. It's one of my favorites, but I don't do it very much because I feel like it really <laughs> honestly damages my hair, but also because it takes forever, for bleeping ever. All right, are you guys ready for this? You'll see the difference. <laughs> So it will not be this wild once I'm all the way done and once it relaxes and I run my fingers through it. But this is the difference. My hair is pretty straight naturally. So this is amazing. And look at how flat it is here versus here. Love it. Okay, let's get after it. I can't listen on here, can I? Yes, that's the move. Oh my God, why am I standing like that? All right. So.
So here it is straight off the curling iron. So you can see it's big and I've never worn it center parted, so that might be part of it. But I am going to um, mess with it a little bit and then get some hairspray in it and comb my fingers through it and whatever and show you what it looks like in a sec. All right, here's the finished look. You can tell it's super voluminous and I did go with the side part because there's a lot of volume on this side today and it was not working with the center part, but there are seriously so many fun hairdos you can do with this, like a half up, half down, a uh, half up top knot, you can clip pieces back and there's just so much volume and texture that lots of hairstyles will hold well. So subscribe and comment and like, and let me know what you guys wanna see. And let me know if you guys have any hair products, like irons that you like to use because I'm always looking for like cool and innovative new products. Bye.